equals yes equals success. You hear it all over the place. Um, I'd like to start by giving you guys a brief overview of the program so you have an idea of what kinds of services you can expect. And I'll take a minute to just go ahead and introduce the staff. So, my name is Becky Reitz, and I am the EOPS Care and CalWORKs Coordinator. Mouthful. I also supervise the tutoring program. Oh, Sherry Sacuzo, I didn't update this page. Sherry Sacuzo is our former EOPS Care and CalWORKs specialist who retired in December and has been replaced by Rachel Higgins right over here. I did too. Um, <clears throat> Renetta Early is one of our EOPS Care and CalWORKs counselors. She's right here. And right next to her over here is Rose Thompson. So you guys will all be getting to know one or the other of our counselors here. Um, and over there by behind her desk over there is Oksana Pensavene. You'll also be get, getting to know her as she's going to be uh, providing you guys with tutoring services. So what is EOPS? It's a statewide program available at every California community college. And you are fortunate to be part of it because, well, I'm going to give you a whole big list of reasons, but this is a program that's been in existence for many, many years. It came right out of the civil rights movement, which is one of the reasons that I think it's extra special. Um, and let's see, I think it started in 1969, so it's one of the oldest community college programs. And I'll tell you what, UPS students are more successful than their counterparts at uh, community colleges. We've just recently completed a study, so you guys are in a good program. We're going to provide you with over and above services. And this is the, the line from the chancellor's office. But we provide over and above services to students who are educationally and economically disadvantaged to help them meet their educational goals. I personally don't think that you guys are necessarily disadvantaged in any way. In fact, anyone who's faced any kind of struggles financially, academically, personally in their lives, I think that brings a whole different set of strengths to all of you that um, aren't always honored. But here, we recognize that. So what can we do for you? We're going to provide you with academic, career, and personal counseling. We're going to give you priority registration, one-on-one -on -one tutoring, book grants. I know you all came here for the money today, but we're going to keep you for the services. Uh, we have a textbook lending library, so in the future, if you're taking a math class and, you are, and you're quick to respond to my emails, um, you won't have to buy a math textbook. I'll let you borrow it from the library for the whole semester. Uh, oops. Uh, we do personal life university campus tours. We're going to have special EOPS scholarships. And most of all, we strive to provide the feeling of family and community so you feel like you have a home base on campus. Okay, so a little bit more detail. Um, academic career and personal counseling. You're all going to complete a student, your first semester of your student education plan before you leave here. That is your roadmap to the future. And uh, Rose will tell you a little bit more about that. Our counselors are here to help you explore your interests, decide what you want to do for your career, and generally are here to give you support when you need it. And the staff as well. Priority registration. You guys know what priority registration is? What that means? Why does it matter? The early bird gets the classes they want with the teachers they want when they want them. Anybody on a waiting list right now? Or have been on a waiting list in the past? Kind of a bummer. You don't always get in, especially if the class is impacted. Um, as an EOPS student, that's not going to be a problem for you anymore. One-on-one -on -one tutoring. Uh, EOPS students get one hour per week per subject of individualized tutoring, and it's free. And for any of you who have ever paid for private tutoring out in the world, you'll know that it's very expensive. So this is a huge advantage. No one else gets one-on-one -on -one tutoring but you guys. Book grants. Um, between 125, let's see my old PowerPoint. Between $125 and $200 to buy your new or used books. Good news is, right now, you guys are getting $250. Yay! Right? It's a lot of money to buy a whole, one whole book. <laughs> EOPS Textbook Lending Library. We, there's, there's hundreds of textbooks over there on reserve in the library for all students. They're available for like one hour to one week, two weeks, three weeks. Um, it just depends on the book and what the teachers put them on reserve. But if you are, you know, struggling financially and you're like, oh, I really don't want to buy that $200 philosophy textbook because I'm not a philosophy major and I'm only going to look at it for this semester, sometimes it's worth it to go over there, spend an hour, do your reading in the library, and just not buy the book. So that's something to think about. Um, EOPS students are, um, can access Math 85, 95, 101, 103, 
textbooks for the entire semester, I've actually expanded that because some of our, our EOPS students have now moved on up into calculus and statistics. So we actually have um, some of those books over there too. Most of those are already accounted for for this semester, but it's something to keep in mind um, for the future. And how you will know about that is when you're going to get an email from me, Becky. When you see an email from me in your inbox, it's worth checking. Because sometimes I'm going to say, I'm taking names for the math textbook waiting list, and when they're gone, they're gone. <coughs> so definitely want to pay attention. There'll be other good stuff I'll be sending you to via email. Personalized university campus tours. Uh, Rose will tell you more about that, but we do like to take you guys when we have the funding to uh, campus tours. Special EOPS scholarships. We're going to have an end of the year celebration this year and a little scholarship ceremony to give out a few scholarships. Um, this is the first time we've ever done this, and um, they're only going to be for EOPS students. Um, this is money that we're specifically raising um, for you and that we're going to give to you. Right now, it's consisted of my father doing a ton of baking and a lot of selling and <laughs> trying to raise the funds. But we're hoping to bring in some bigger donors for you guys. So that's going to be fun. Um, and again, we uh, really strive to provide a feeling of family and community. We like to celebrate your successes with you and we want to support you through your challenges. If you're having a rotten, <clears throat> a rotten day, this is the place where you can come and say, I'm having a really bad day. We have tons of Kleenex, okay? We stock our office with Kleenex. Um, same time, you pass your math test for the first time, come in, we will celebrate with you. We're huge fans of students. Um, we're all about the students and we really want to get to know all of you. So, how do you qualify for EOPS? There's three important things. And I sent this on an email to all of you that you might have got. That might be how you found out about our program. Uh, we might have talked to you. We've already kind of pre-qualified all of you for today, but I just want to review this really quickly in case something slipped through the cracks. You're all on financial aid. Yes? Nodding knowingly? Yes, good. And you all have a fee waiver. Uh, and the other way we qualify you is educationally. So one of the following ways you qualify. Um, either your placement test uh, showed that you were not qualified for English 150 or Math 103, so somewhere below. Um, you didn't graduate from high school or complete the GED. Um, you did graduate from high school with a GPA of 2.49 or below, or you have been previously enrolled in education, meaning maybe you started off in 95, math 95, but now you're in 103, that would qualify you for our program. And then if none of those things work for you, we probably have already had a conversation with you and qualified you for the program um, that I that I determined some other factors. You need to be full-time, 12 units or more. Everybody's in 12 units or planning to be in 12 units. And knowing that if you're not going to be in 12 units, that you're not going to be able to receive your book grant until you become in 12 units and you can say, print out a registration, I'm in 12 units. Other thing is that you must have completed fewer than 70 degree applicable units from any institution of higher education. So if you've been to like four or five community colleges, we're going to need to see all those transcripts before we're going to be able to accept you into our program. If all of those add up to 65, great, we'll put you into our program. If it adds up to 72, sorry we can't accept you. Um, this is really, this is a program designed to support new students getting through their first couple of years of school. So, that, that does that sound like everybody's qualified who's here today? If you're wondering, yeah, I don't think I'm going to qualify. It turns out I have a bachelor's degree and I forgot to mention that. We don't want to keep you. So that's why I mentioned all this stuff right from the beginning here. Um, here. If you're a single head of household and you have at least one child under the age of 14 and you or your children are receiving cash aid, you may be eligible for a second program called CARE and I want you to come talk to me after we're finished here today. Um, that's a really great program and I want to definitely get you in if you're qualified. Okay, the Tutoring and Learning Center. Oksana's going to come tell you all about free tutoring. Also known as TLC. Hi guys, how are you? Good, stick with us. Okay. So, my name is Aksana Pinsabini and I am the tutoring coordinator here at College Thank you. I'm the tutoring coordinator here at College of Marine and um, as you probably have figured out, we do share the space with the EOPS. Just one space here. And I will tell you a little bit more um, about how tutoring works. 
first of all, uh, if you are a student at College of Marine here, you do qualify. You do qualify for free tutoring. So if you're all in the class here, you do qualify for free um, tutoring here in the tutoring center. And we do offer a tutoring for almost all academic subjects except of English. Um, and our tutors, you will see them here on the board, almost all of them. We hired a couple of them. They are students just like you guys. That means that they uh, took classes here at College of Marine. They did very well in their classes and they were recommended by uh, their professors to be tutors here. So don't feel intimidated. They're just students, uh, your peers, and um, they're all pretty good. In fact, we have one of our students here. Now he's Luis. He's right in. And he is um, and Teresa, right there behind the camera. So there are our math tutors, and they're pretty great. Um, how it works? First of all, go to your class. Sign up for a class, go to your class, see what the requirements are. And if you feel like you will need tutoring, come to us and fill out a tutoring request. And you can do so in person by filling out this form. Uh, you will give us your information, your contact information, your phone number, your emails. And this part is um, important. This is where you tell us when you are available to come for tutoring. So you will put across uh, during the times and days you are available to come for tutoring. Uh, if you are an EUBS student, also make sure that you check the box that says that you are an EUBS student. Uh, once you give us those applications, I look at all of them and I set up sessions based on your guys' availability and our tutors' availability. And um, math tutoring has already started on Thursday, and because we have an orientation right now, we actually move them across the hall. But usually it's here, in this room, those three tables, is math tutoring. Anyone is taking math this semester? Yeah, so just to know that there is drop-in tutoring for math, meaning that math tutors are here all day, every day. You can come anytime. Once you fill this uh, application, you're set for the whole semester. You can come anytime. You don't need any appointment. You can do your homework, hang out here, and get help from our wonderful tutors. This is for math. For all the other subjects, though, we set up sessions um, based on your guys' availability. So the schedules are going to be posted here on this board and online on College of Marine uh, website, the Tutoring Learning Center website, and it's updated constantly. Um, once we do set up schedules, they pretty much stay the same for the whole semester. Sometimes we change it a little depending on how many people attend. But once we set those sessions, they are pretty much the same for the rest of the semester. So if you do feel like you will need tutoring, come and talk to me early, like today after your orientation, or sometime next week, so we can actually set up a session that's, that will work with your schedule. You can also request tutoring online. If you don't want to request tutoring right now, if you're shy, not sure, you can do it online. Log in into your micro portal, click on the student tab right there, and you will see a box that's labeled Tutoring Learning Center. And then all you need is to click on the link that says Request Tutoring, and I will get your application right into my email, and I will post it this way, just like this week. Okay. Um, because you guys, a drop-in tutoring is for everyone. Any students here at College of Marine can get drop-in tutoring. But you guys are pretty special. You are EUPS students. That means only you guys qualify for one-on-one -on -one tutoring. That means for each subject you're taking, you get one hour per week per subject with a tutor one-on-one. -on -one. It's going to be just yours for the whole hour, and you can work or whatever you need to work um, with the tutor. But also come and request it today or early next week because they're already going. A lot of EOPS students requested tutoring this semester. So I have some availability for tutors, but they better do it right now if you really need one on one tutoring. That's that. And if you feel like you would like to be a tutor too, do great in your classes, get recommended, and we always look for great tutors, we especially like to hire AOPS students, because we feel you guys have a connection to us, so think about it, something to think about. And if you want more information, also talk to me, and I'll let you know what you need to do to become a tutor. Um, so tutoring for um, all the other subjects except math is gonna begin next week. Math is going on right now already, 
um, the computers. You guys are free to use those. Those are for um, our EPS students in tutoring, and it's for academic work only, so don't, please don't use it for Facebook or shopping or anything like that. But bring your flash drive, because once you log off, it's going to be lost. So bring your flash drive. And do you guys have any flash drives? Do you guys all have flash drives? You guys know what a flash drive is? Yeah. You'll get one today. So just if you do your academic work here on this computer, save it on your flash drive, and it's going to be there forever. <coughs> something goes wrong. Um, and I think that's it. Do you guys have any questions? Questions, comments? Well, oh, feel free to see me after the orientation, and I also will be helping out a little bit there. If you have any questions or you would like to sign up for tutoring, just let me know. Thank you. Uh,